What's up everyone? Welcome to the 21st tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use includes in PHP. And what this does is make things like header and footers so you can include it a bunch of times and you can only change it once and it will change on every single page of your website. So as you can see I have two files, tester page and welcome PHP. On welcome PHP I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple PHP script right now. And all I'm going to do is, uh, make, you can make it say anything you want. I'm just going to make mine say Easy Hoss. And that's it. All we have is a PHP that makes it says, it just says Easy Hoss. So right now it would output Easy Hoss in the screen. So let's save that. And that's all we have. Now on Tesser page, PHP, which is a totally different page that doesn't say Easy Hoss at all, let's go ahead and create a basic website. Just uh, use your HTML and body tags, and uh, you can just end it. Oops, that switched up. Now, in the body of your website, you're gonna want to go ahead and create another PHP tag. And what this tag is gonna do is it's gonna call your welcome PHP. So we're going to want to do easy hoss. We're going to want that on this page. So here's what we do. On your tester page.php in your PHP code that's embedded in the body, we're going to want to write include and in your parameters, you're going to want to write whatever other PHP script you want to include. So I'm going to write welcome PHP and of course, you got to put it in double quotation marks and end that so the only thing that goes in your parameters is whatever script you want to include and end that with a semicolon and then this is the only PHP script that we're gonna have on our tester page now on the next line just to show you guys um, let's create a heading one that says welcome people And uh, let's just create a paragraph real quick. It says, hey now, all star. So as you can see, right now we have a heading that says welcome people and a paragraph that says, hey now, all star. And this PHP that includes welcome PHP. Now here's what's going to happen. As the website's loading, it's going to go, all right, here's your body. PHP wants to include this file. So it's going to go look for this file, output the word easy hoss, and then finish writing the rest of your website. So let's save this, refresh it, and as you can see, it goes easy hoss, welcome people, hey now, all star. Now why is this useful instead of just writing it right here? Let's say you wanted to put this on a hundred different web pages. All you would have to do is change this. That's right, take it easy, Bessie. And save it on this one page. And then whenever you save this, you can see it would change on every single web page. And that saves you a bunch of time from going to web page to web page and updating each one one by one. With this include, you could change it one time and it could change on every single web page on your website. So that's a very simple way of using an include to make headers and footers. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you like my tutorials, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.